<laughs> I'm uh, pushing Max on the brake here. Hello, welcome to the EVRC, where we're back at Sandy Lane, uh, the big hill that we've been testing e-bikes and uh, e-skates on. So we're going to do the first test of e-scooters today, and I've got three commuting scooters. We've got the Antwi, and we've got two from iScooter. We've got the i9 and the i9 Pro. Will they be able to beat the e-bikes? I don't think they're going to be able to beat the uh, skateboards. But they, will they even get up at all? Don't know. And we've got a fourth scooter, which is powered by me from Razor. So let's get on with it. Right, here we is. The super stylish Antwi e-scooter. Remember this one? It's only 250 watts, but for a 250 watt scooter it does all right. But will it be able to get up the hill? Let's go. I don't think it will. One, two, three, go! Oh, what? One, two, three, go! Nine miles an hour. Ten miles an hour. Twelve, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen miles an hour. 14 miles an hour. It's not looking good because this isn't the steepest bit. Will he be able to get past the tree? Oh, and it's dying. It's losing it. It's losing it. It's losing it. Nine, eight, seven, seven. It's the tree. <laughs> it's still going though, but I think I'm probably gonna ruin it. I've got to admit, it's hard to keep balanced when it's this slow. Yep, got past the tree. We'll be able to get past the grit box. Four miles an hour, three, no. Grit box, whoa, Jesus Christ, stop going, will you? Right, let's just roll back down. So that's the ant you done. I like these tires, filled with foam, remember. Full review of the ant and the i9 Max coming. Hopefully soon, I just haven't had a chance to give them a proper run them yet. All right, now it's the standard i9, 350 watts. Had this one for a while. And we've got a learner doing a hill start. And they've got, right, three, two, one, go. Now this one, 350 watts, but it does have uh, speed unlocked to 18.6 miles an hour on sport mode. Currently I'm going 10, 11. It feels better. Can we get, beat it past the grip box? Will it beat that ant we? Must be said, this is my oldest scooter. I've had this for about a year and a half. Oh no, it's already dying. Remember, this is an extra 100 watts compared to the ant we. Extra 100 watts. And five, four. So I got to the tree. I don't think it's going to beat the ant way. Wow. Two. Still going. What? No, that's it. Right. Let's just check that wasn't the actual sport mode. Right with the lip. Oh, it's the front wheel. Yeah, that was sport mode. Should go 18 miles an hour. But it didn't. All right. So, that's not looking good. He's pushing a push scooter up the hill. I reckon that I'll be able to get past the tree. Right, now is the time of the i9 Max. Also from my scooter. One, two, three, go. Okay, so this one's got a top speed of 20 miles per hour. Top speed! 500 watts, so double that of the Antwi. Extra 150 watts on the i9 standard. It's looking good, nine miles an hour, which obviously isn't lots, but you'd be happy with nine miles an hour up this hill. Eight, all right, slowing down. Seven, six, five. Oh, I don't think it's gonna get as far, four, 
So this is not going to get as far as the others, which makes no sense whatsoever. Two, three, two. Right, we've got to the tree. Is it, aren't we going to win? Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, so the 500 watt e-scooter only gets to the tree. Well done, 500 watt e-scooter. Now, it's probably worth saying that this is quite a decent hill. It's not a ridiculously big hill, but you generally wouldn't want to ride a bike up it. But if if these could get up it, it'd be really good. But you know on the adverts, they always say 30% grain. This hill is less than that. And finally, is the Razor A6, which is a lot smaller than I remember it being. So, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Right. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna get tired, aren't I? Not looking forward to this. I just want to beat the others. Right, okay. So, uh, three, two, one, go. Let's just take it easy. <laughs> I'm going to get sweaty now. Right. I'm going to be as upright as I can. I'm going alright. Oh, my left foot hurts. Something you need to do on this is swap, but oh, my left foot's making it up because of gout. But I'm gonna get to the top. I'm gonna try and beat an e-bike. My left legs are killing. <sighs> really at the top? Sort of. Oh my god. Me. You don't get any roll. Rolling now. Stop! That's where we get to. Jesus. I just realised they're not aiming properly. Uh, it's been dangerous. Oh. I'm uh, pushing Max on the brake here. I'm actually standing on the brake now. Am I not standing on the brake? Is that the problem? That is the brake. 
<sighs> oh, shit. What do you think in the comments of us now? Did you expect it to go like that? The, it looked like the Anway did better than the other two. The 250 watt scooter did seem to do better than a 350 watt and a 500 watt. And, uh, and if it didn't, I'll get the official times up on the screen. The 500 watt didn't do much better. But then again, you're thinking about it, a 500 watt and 750 watt e-bike couldn't get up the hill. I wouldn't really expect a 500 watt scooter to get up the hill. Um, it, like I say, it is a steepish hill. You wouldn't want to ride up it but it's not super steep, it's not like ones you get when you're in, you know, proper hilly places, like when we went uh, to Brixham, but it is a pretty nasty hill. Uh, that's it from here, from Sandy Lane. We will be back testing out more stuff. The next plan, when I come back here, is to be testing out three off-road scooters that hopefully will get up, but, you know, considering some powerful e-bikes didn't get up properly, um, we'll see how it goes. But from Sandy Lane, goodbye from a, a very tired me. If you enjoyed that, thumbs up please. And uh, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. <sighs> right, so.